In this exercise, we'll create forms to use on the Marvin Robotics platform. We have the following objectives for this exercise. We will create an element set and create two new forms, a customer satisfaction survey and a new product interest form. These are the steps we have for this exercise. Create a new element set, add fields to the element set, including email validation and confirmation, create a form using the element set, create the customer satisfaction form, add single selection, multiple selection, and text fields to the form, add a second page to the form, format the success page, create a new product interest form, and add fields to the form. Additionally, we have two bonus exercises, which we won't cover in this video, but you can complete them on your own. These are, create a new form on the main Marvin Robotics site for gathering feedback from employees. The form should be at least two pages long with no more than five fields on a page. Create an element set for commonly asked questions about customer experience and satisfaction. Use the element set to create a returning customer satisfaction form. First up, we need to make sure we're signed into our Marvin Robotics platform as an administrator. If you follow the prerequisites, this will be with the tests at marvinrobotics.com account. Once signed in, open the site menu. Click the site selector, which is this compass icon. Click the All Sites tab and choose the Marvin Robotics site. Depending on how many sites you've made and visited, you might find the Marvin Robotics site under the Recent tab as well. Once that is open, navigate to Content and Data, then Forms in the Site Administration panel. Click the Element Sets tab. Then click the Add icon near the top right of the page. Click the Untitled Form field to edit the title and type Webinar RSVPs as the title. Type RSVP for the upcoming Marvin Robotics webinar as the description. Next, we'll add text fields to the element set. Open the Builder sidebar if it is not already open and drag a text field onto the page. Type first name under label. Then click the required field toggle. Click the back arrow to return to the builder menu. Drag another text field onto the page below first name. Type last name under the label and click the required field toggle. Click back. Drag one more text field onto the page below last name. Type department as the label, then click back. We also need to add validation and confirmation field elements to make sure that users enter a correct and valid email address. Start by dragging a text field onto the page below the department field. Type email as the label and click the required field toggle. Next, click the advanced tab at the top next to basic. Click the Require Confirmation toggle. Scroll down and type, the emails do not match as the error message. Below that, click the Validation toggle. Scroll down and choose, is an email from the dropdown of Accept If Input. Type, please enter a valid email address as the error message. And click Save at the bottom. Then click the back arrow at the top next to New Element Set to leave the editor. Now that we've created an element set, we'll draft a form using that element set. Click the Forms tab next to Element Sets. We don't have any forms yet, so to add one, click either the Add button at the top right or New Form button here at the center. Type New Webinar as a title. Click the Element Sets tab in the Builder sidebar. You may need to open it using the button. Drag the Webinar RSVPs element set onto the form page. Click the Preview button at the top, which should open the form in a new tab. Viewing this tab, we can check on all of our fields to see the required fields, validation, and confirmation we established in the element set. For instance, Skipping a required field turns it red. 
And if I type in an incomplete email address and neglect to add the confirmation, we'll get our error messages. Once we've checked all of the fields, we can close the tab. For now, we'll simply click Save to save the form as a draft. We will complete and publish forms in the next part of this exercise. Next, we'll create a Marvin Robotics Customer Satisfaction Survey. Open the Site menu and click the Site Selector. Then click on the All Sites tab and select a Marvin Robotics Store Site. Go to Content and Data and Forms in the Site Administration panel. Click the Add or New Form button to add a new form. Click the Untitled Form field to edit the form title and type Customer Satisfaction Survey as the title. Type the official Customer Satisfaction Survey for Marvin Robotics customers as the description. For our first page, type Product Satisfaction as the page title. Type How Satisfied Are You with Marvin Robotics Products as the page description. Now we'll add some single selection fields to the form. Click the Builder icon near the top right if the builder does not automatically open. Drag a grid field onto the form. This field will allow us to list multiple questions as the rows and the possible answers as the columns. Type How satisfied are you with colon under label. For the first row option, type The delivery of Marvin Robotics products. For the second, type the quality of Marvin Robotics products. Now we'll add the column options. Type very satisfied for the first column option, somewhat satisfied for the second, neutral for the third, somewhat dissatisfied for the fourth, very dissatisfied for the last. Click the required field toggle to make this a required question. Click the back arrow beside grid to return to the field menu. Next, we'll add multiple selection and text fields to the form. Drag a multiple selection field onto the form. For the label, type, which Marvin Robotics products would you purchase again? For the four options, type, TS2-100 Robotic Machine, TS2-40 Robotic Machine, CS9 controller and Fast Picker TP8. Click back. Drag a text field onto the form below the multiple selection field. Type What product or service do you like best as the label? Select multiple lines so that customers can leave longer answers. Then click back. Drag another text field onto the form. Type what product or service could be improved as the label and select multiple lines again. Click back. Now we'll add a second page for customer service satisfaction questions. Scroll down and click new page below the product satisfaction page. Type customer service satisfaction as the page title, and type, how is our customer service team doing as the page description. Drag a single selection field onto the form. Type, how do you rate our customer communication as the label? We'll add four options. Excellent as the first option, good as the second, neutral as the third, and needs improvement as the fourth. Click the required field toggle, then click back. Drag a text field onto the form, then type, how can we better serve you as the label? Select multiple lines. The last thing we need to do is format the success page. Click on thank you under success page and replace it with success exclamation point. Beneath that, replace the default text with your feedback is valuable to us. Thank you for filling out this survey. Now that we're finished, click the Publish button at the top right. 
You'll see a success message pop up in the bottom left and we can click the open form button to view the complete form. You can also click the share button, which is unavailable for unpublished forms, to find the survey link and to share it with customers. Once we're done looking over the customer satisfaction survey, close those tabs. Now click the back arrow beside edit form to return to our main form page. We'll now add another new form for new product interests. Click the add icon near the top right, then type new product interests into the untitled form field. Type help Marvin Robotics move forward as the description. First up, we'll add text fields to the form. Open the builder icon near the top right if it does not automatically open. Drag a text field onto the form, then type how have Marvin Robotics products met your manufacturing needs as the label? Select multiple lines to allow customers to write more and click the required field toggle. Now click the back arrow by text. Drag another text field onto the form below the first. Type, what manufacturing needs are not currently met by Marvin Robotics products as the label? Like before, select multiple lines and click the required field toggle. Click back. We'll add two more fields to our new product interest form. First, drag a multiple selection field onto the form. Type, what improvements would you like to see in future Marvin Robotics products as the label? For the six options, type, increased load, Increased range of motion, faster movement speed, smaller footprint, lower cost, and other. Click the required field toggle. Now click back. Next, drag a text field onto the form. Type. List any additional improvements, recommendations, or comments for Marvin Robotics products as the label, and select multiple lines. Click Publish at the top. If we click the Open Form button in the Success message or access the link using the Share button, we can see the newly created form.